Hello YouTube, it's Patrick, and I'm here with another Dexter review, uh, Season 6, Episode 5, The Angel of Death. Death seemed to show up at the end, which I will get to at the end of this thing. Um, but yeah, this week was basically, you know, another solid episode. It kind of furthered what happened last week. Um, had a, um, had a really good moment with, uh, Colin Hanks' character and Dexter. Uh, which I will also get to later. Um, didn't quite keep the same momentum as um, as last week's episode, but uh, it was you know a decent aftermath. Um, Dexter was doing his investigation um, and found the answers in Colin Hanks' character pretty quickly. Um, but uh, otherwise, though, he he hung out with brother uh, Sam. And uh, you can tell he's liking him because he talked about what happened to him when he was a kid. So um, that's a relationship. And that's kind of a relationship that Dexter usually doesn't have with anyone um, on this show unless it's someone that knows his true, true secret. Um, which is usually another, ends up being another serial killer that he has to kill by the end of the season. Um, but that wasn't the case. This, you know, we're the same. They were just chilling, you know, drinking some beer. And, uh, and talking about it. Um, so yeah, and then um, as far as everyone else this episode, we had Deb uh, finding a new apartment, which um, was uh, pretty easy and kind of, I don't know, kind of convenient, whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, whatever, we also had her, I mean she had to because she had all those bloody you know, gruesome pictures on the floor, and the, the kid walks right in. And, uh, the nanny was right, by the way. I don't know what, you know, Deb, why would she even argue? Maybe the nanny, you know, kind of told her off a little bit too much, but, um, uh, probably, you know, I mean, it's nice to know that Batista's, like, sister cares that much, I guess, which is annoying me because that means something's gonna happen to her, or it's possible that something's gonna happen to her, you know, because we know the serial killer always figures out who Dexter is, and she's gonna be home when something happens. I really don't want that to happen because I like her, so. Um, then, what else this episode? Quinn and Batista, who are really funny together. I really like them together. I heard people you know, bitching again about Quinn just being, like, you know, awful, horrible character, kill him off. Um, which I do tend to think about him sometimes when he's just a dick, but he's mellowed out, asking Deb where the, um, you know, the ring was. So he's mellowed out, he's better. Um, he ended up... Uh, sleeping with Lorena from True Blood, uh, who I wanted her off True Blood when she was on it, and I'll give her credit that I almost immediately had liked her this episode, although she might be a complete bitch in this series, too. Um, but uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, she had the giant tattoo on her back. She knows Professor Geller, or knew Professor Geller, um, had his book that Batista found, um, Good detective work by Batista. Also, easy. Easy to do, which, you know what, it's been happening a lot on Dexter uh, for the past couple of seasons where people kind of just fall into things, so... It's just something that I, I, I've said it before, I just, I don't, I don't mind it. Uh, I kind of expect it from the show. I don't love it, you know, I wish they wouldn't always fall into stuff, but... You gotta keep, you gotta keep stuff moving along. Uh, let's see, what else, what else? Uh, Masuka's got a new intern. Which is too bad, but I hope we haven't seen the last of the uh, the blonde. Also, that hand, until that hand gets back, I bet they're going somewhere with that. Uh, or I hope so, otherwise it's kind of pointless. Uh, let's see, who else? Who else? Oops. Um, you know what, go back to actually Quinn and Batista. Quinn, um, the girl, uh, whatever her name is, Lorena from True Blood, is probably going to be in on it because Quinn seems to sleep with the women that end up being in on it, or somewhat, with uh, what was it, Trinity's daughter in season four and stuff like that. So I'm betting she's in on it. Quinn just can't, you know, uh, just can't get out of his own way. Which is the, the best version of him anyway, I've said that before, when he just screws up. Um, because it keeps him funny and it humbles him, so it keeps him less of a dick. Uh, and it allows everyone else to kind of yell at him, uh, which is better. Um, no LaGuerta this episode. Always a plus. Who here missed her? Anybody? I guarantee nobody missed her this week. Guarantee it. 
What does that tell you? Uh, what else? All right, now Colin Hanks and Edward James Olmos. Um, the theory that Edward James Olmos' character is the dark passenger figment of Colin Hanks' imagination. Once again, and I gotta think they know that some of the audience is thinking this because they're not letting Geller interact with anyone. But they are, I mean, when they were sitting ordering drinks at the bar, there was a cup in front of Geller. Um, you know, Hank called him on a cell phone, which, if it's similar to like a dark passenger thing, he wouldn't be, you know, Dexter never calls Harry on a cell phone. Um, so they're really keeping it down the middle. Um, and I'm kind of enjoying, like, it's kind of like playing a little game where you're trying to watch and figure out, is this guy real or not? I don't know if that was their intention or if they intended for nobody to even spot it. Um, I hope they think we're a little smarter than that, that they that we would spot it. Um, or that somebody would spot it and tell everyone, like I may have done to some of you. Sorry if I did. Um, let's see. Yeah, so it's kind of like a fun little game, basically, trying to figure out uh, if uh, Geller is real or not. Uh, we know he used to be real, but it's kind of, you know, we don't know, every, we don't, until we know everything, it's a theory that's going to hold water, pretty much. Um, as far as Colin Hanks goes, Dexter, um, found him, trapped him, was going to probably put him on his table, but, and normally, it's not like Dexter didn't kill anyone last season, and he killed basically anyone that was involved with like Lumen's like kidnapping or anyone so it's not like he wouldn't normally he would probably kill Colin Hanks's character but he didn't um, and it's because of the faith angle the show's been having so he's letting Colin Hanks either well he's I mean he's let him really let him go to so he can maybe lead him to Geller but he's also letting him go to let him kind of figure out the right way to be and that's important for Dexter because that's what he's been trying to figure out this entire series. What is the right way to live your life, basically? Um, or how do you overcome, you know, your darkness, which he and Brother Sam were talking about. So yeah, I liked that. That was, that was pretty good. Not good was the end of the episode where Brother Sam got shot three times, I'm pretty sure. At least twice in the chest. You know. I don't think he's getting out of that. That would, uh, you know, I don't think he's gonna live. I hope he does, but I don't think he will. Um, it's really, it's it's too bad. Because uh, most most stuff was absolutely fantastic, at least so far. Well, well, I guess I'll I'll leave that for next week because we'll find that out next week. Um, they're gonna let Dexter go on a little like side mission again, which I complained about earlier in the year that I kind of like the whole story moving, but at this point we have Colin Hanks' character seems to be a little more conflicted about what's going on, so I'm kind of interested in seeing what they're going to do with them. Like, they, those two characters actually need a breather from Dexter uh, next week, so it's kind of interesting. Th uh, things are starting to set up and move a little forward anyway. Um, so I'll be interested to see how it goes next week. Next week is the sixth episode, the halfway mark, so um, I'm betting they'll do something big. They usually do something pretty substantial around the halfway mark. Um, on the show, some kind of like a hook to get us to the second half of the season. But we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got. Alright, well, I will see you guys for the Dexter thing next week. Um, I'm going to do the Walking Dead review right now, actually. Um, and put them both up at the same time. Because I want to do a one more Blu-ray thing before I go to PA this weekend to do the uh, Spielberg video with Rob so, uh, alright guys. Adios.